And big news overnight. It's been a 48-day manhunt for a suspected cop killer. Well, it is over this morning. Eric Freen has been captured. Freen gave himself up by up surrounded by U.S. Marshals. ABC's Josh Haskell, who spent many days in Pennsylvania covering the chase, has the latest. Here's Eric Freen, clean-shaven and described as healthy, besides a visible scratch on his nose. On the run for the past 48 days. Now, exactly where Pennsylvania State Police want him in a jail cell. The reason this was so important is because Eric Freen was dedicated to killing law enforcement members. A team of U.S. Marshals took Freen into custody Thursday near an abandoned airport in an open field. They say Freen was taken by surprise, unable to reach the hangar where he had a long gun and knives. I can't think of a more dangerous occupation than going into the woods after this individual. Freen is accused of murdering Trooper Brian Dixon and wounding Trooper Alex Douglas back on September 12th outside the police barracks he's being processed in this morning. After his arrest, Freen was put in Trooper Dixon's handcuffs and driven to the barracks in the Trooper's squad car. We, uh, we have been in contact with Trooper Douglas and his family, and, uh, as well as uh, Corporal Dixon's uh, family, and, and uh, relief and gratitude uh, were their reactions. The 31-year-old survivalist and military buff put Pocono residents on edge the past seven weeks. There were numerous sightings which closed schools. Hundreds of officers searched the woods day and night. It is a good thing now that he is caught and now can finally rest again. Eric Freen will be arraigned on murder charges in a few hours, and the district attorney says he plans to seek the death penalty. It's got to be a relief for folks there. I mean, there was even issues. They beefed up security at school. I think schools were out at some point. I mean, this has got to be a relief for folks there. Definitely. I spent some time up there, and, and they told us they were essentially held hostage. Right. There were periods of time where they weren't allowed to leave their homes, and obviously with school canceled five days, that means that parents had to miss work. But now, as, as you may have heard, Halloween is back on in wow. the Poconos, big deal. so that uh, will make for some very happy families. Such an expensive manhunt, so worthy, and so glad to hear that this is finally wrapped up. Josh Haskell, thank you very much. Thanks so much.